what's up YouTube alright so I just wanted to make a video uh, showing off my setup here so um, I recently I wanted to up well I wanted to purchase a, a gaming PC but my wife wouldn't allow me to do so because I recently you know just upgraded to the Xbox One X and got a 4K monitor and all that stuff. Spent a bunch of money. So when I wanted to upgrade, well, when I wanted to purchase a gaming PC, she said, you know, can do. But she did agree to allow me to upgrade my existing laptop, <laughs> which is this is a Dell Latitude E6420. I bought this about two to three years ago. I got it used for about 200, I think about 250 bucks off Amazon. And I watched some YouTube videos um, where they showed me that you can put uh, a basically a desktop graphics card and connect it to your laptop and get like desktop gaming performance. So I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I took the plunge and why not? I was able to I purchased a uh, RX 580. It's the gigabit version. Uh, it's an eight uh, the eight um, eight gigabit version as well. I got it off of uh, eBay. I think for about 100 120 bucks used. And it's in perfect condition. Um, whoever is the previous owner took really good care of it. And I also got this little guy here. I don't know if you guys can see. This is the I think the I think the name of it is the GDC Beast something something. And this basically connects, it gets power from a PSU, and then these wires they run along on the side here and connect into my laptop. And I've got a laptop cooler, um, and I also have got a vacuum that's sucking the hot air out as a side view. Yeah, so when I did my research, I um, found out that the, the RAM that I had in this laptop was probably not going to be enough. So I did some YouTube <laughs> searches and decided to open up my laptop and upgrade my RAM from 4 gigabytes to 8, sorry, to 16 gigabytes, uh, 16 gigs, um, even though Dell, on the Dell website it says that this laptop can only take 8, it actually took 16, so, and while I was in there I decided to upgrade the hard drive to a 1 uh, terabyte SSD, uh, so it was much faster. And then I decided to upgrade the CPU as well. This had a Core i5 2420M, I think it was. It was just a two core multi thread. Uh, so I switched that out and I put in the i7 uh, 2720QM, which is uh, four cores, again, multi thread. So did that. And I also. Uh, cut out like a big, um, um, well, some ventilation to the bottom there because this, I don't think this was getting that much good ventilation. I got some wire mesh and I was able to cut out a sizable hole um, where the CPU, the RAM and the fan are and I covered those up with wire mesh. It turned out pretty good and as you can see I got this laptop cooler that's sucking the air in and I got this vacuum that's sucking the air out and it's working pretty well because um, even when I'm at full load I did a stress test it went up to like 90 something but when I'm uh, gaming on it and I'm going to show you games just in a sec uh, they don't uh, push it nowhere as much as the stress test so it's working out pretty well so yeah, how does it perform? Well, the reason I got this is because I'm a sim racer and I've been racing 
um, Forza Motorsport on the Xbox uh, since the very first one. And I've also wanted, always wanted to get into PC sim racing, and so that's why I got this. And so if you move over here, uh, so this is a Seto Corsa, arguably one of the fastest I set up. Okay. I built this, it's my rig. Uh, so this is a Seto Corsa, and as you can see in the corner, uh, if you guys can make that out, I have it. This is only a 60 hertz monitor. Um, so I have it, uh, it's free sync. So basically, I have it whereas um, it's going to max out at 60 frames a second. And you know, it works out really, really, really well. You know, so this is the entire setup here. Um, there are a number of YouTube videos as to how to exactly go about doing this. I am not like some sort of computer tech guy. <laughs> so I literally I learned how to do this uh, just by watching a bunch of YouTube videos. And I did it. Um, this um, GDC uh, connector, that only costs like 50 bucks. And so basically all together I spent maybe about 250 bucks maybe a little more um, uh, because I got the, the PSU as well and of course you know I did my little bit of RGB lighting <laughs> uh, but I spent about 280 bucks or so and you know my wife is happy because I didn't get a new PC I'm happy because I'm getting a great performance that's actually in 1440p and I have it locked at 60 frames a second, so that's just beautiful. This particular race is a multi-class race. I think I had 18 cars on track, and this actually is one of the, the mod tracks, which is one of the reasons I really wanted to get a Settle Crosser on the PC. I actually have this game on the Xbox, but of course, you don't have any mods. Uh, this particular mod is the new version of Donington Park. If you guys are into sim racing, you know exactly what that is. So, you know, it's... it's I'm, I'm really happy with the setup. I'm really happy. Um, I'm really happy with everything. This part took like a month to arrive from China, but other than that, it's all good. So, yeah, I'll be uh, mostly. I'm just going to be playing a set of course. So I, I downloaded Race Room Experience. Um, I'm still fitting with the settings and not just to get it just right, but with a set of course, so like you said. I'm running at 1440p, I'm getting 60 frames a second locked, and um, yeah, and this is with like I think 17 or 18 cars on this track. It's a multi-class race, right? But yeah, man, it's really been great. So yeah, um, if you have any questions on how I did this, you can post some, uh, post them in the, let's post them in the video, and I'll do my best to answer. And yeah, I'll be definitely posting some more of these videos as I, well, some more of my gaming videos. Alright, so, peace out.